What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I'm going to bring to you the what's in my bag for CES. This isn't everything that I brought, but it's everything that I'll be bringing with me to the show floor for shooting and charging and things like that. So uh, first of all, what you don't see is my, well I guess you can see it because Tomas has it, is my FZ1000 Panasonic camera that he's shooting with and he also has on it his cage which we'll get into mine in a moment. And also on the top, he has my Sennheiser receiver for my lavalier wireless mic setup that I just tapped. So, okay, what I don't have in the bag is this, which is a case that came with, I believe, my Canova, Canova uh, motor for my slider. And it's a customizable case, so I never used it, so I just blocked, took the little blocks out and made it work for my Sennheiser setup. So that, I also have an Anchor 20,000 milliamp battery that may or may not make it to the show floor with me. I'm not sure if I'm going to take that. I have some smaller ones in here. And then here's my cage, which is the same one that a lot of people are having this year, and it's from PNC. And I have the 577 uh, Manfrotto mount on it that I customized in one of my vlogs. You can check that out. Two cold shoes on top. Uh, this one will be for the Sennheiser receiver and this one will be for the NTG2 and this should hold my, if I use it, will hold my H5, Zoom H5. That. Then I brought two phones, my main driver which is my Note 4 uh, and the reason that is my main driver for this is because I have interchangeable batteries on it and I have a spare battery in the bag that I'll show you. And then I brought my iPhone 6 pretty much just for Instagramming because the uh, iPhone 6 Instagram's way better than any Android phone. All right, so we'll get into the bag. We'll start in the front and we'll do the sides and move our way back. So in the very front pocket, I have my Shure uh, SE215. I use these for the podcast, but I brought them uh, for a wired uh, headphone option, which I have some wireless in here also. Uh, then I have my charger for the Note 4, but this is the adaptive fast charging. So I think I can get 80% in 30 minutes, I think is what Samsung claims. So I got that just in case uh, something crazy happens and I need to charge one of the batteries or my phone on the floor. I got this just for taking notes, old school style. Just a little pad of paper and a pen. Then here is my spare Samsung battery for the Note 4 that's charged. And here is a USB 3.0 SD card reader that you can use the micro SD or the standard SD cards. I actually have two of these. I didn't know this was in the bag. I have a white one also. In this pocket, all I have is the Nexus 7 that I was using on the plane. So that'll just stay in here. And that's it in here. Then I have a very small, I don't know how many milliamps this is. It's not much, but it's a battery pack. So very small. So that could go in your pocket. So. Uh, then, of course, gum to keep your nasty breast fresh. Then I have two pockets full of business cards to pass out or make it rain if need be. Uh, side here, extra batteries for the FZ1000. So I have five total, one's in the camera obviously right now, and then four more. And they'll come all charged. That'll be more than enough for the day for what I'm planning on shooting, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. Uh, those batteries are extremely cheap on Amazon. Then in this pocket, I have an Anchor 10,000 milliamp battery pack and a new Trent. I think this is another 11,000. So more, more power. That's it on this side. Over here is what I'm using for my scratch disk, and it's just a 500 uh, gigabyte USB 3.0 Western Digital external hard drive. So all my content. Anything I film will end up being on here, and then this is where I'll drop the um, all my files for Final Cut up here. <laughs> Omar has recommended this. This is my first CES, so I take all recommendations, and this one is hydrocortisone. So if you are um, chafing <laughs> in the thigh area or uh, nether regions, this is going to be a lifesaver. Tomas has told me that this is a, a must also. He uh, would have killed 
well, that's probably not the right term, but uh, for some back in his times. Uh, Magic Mouse, which is another Tomas favorite, but this is, I use this just for on the go. I don't use it at home, but it stays in my bag, so I'll use that in case I need a mouse. Up top is a, a harder shell, but I have my Pelican SD card holder with my SD cards in it, which I have quite a few. But uh, this one is in the H5, and then that one's in the camera there. And then a SIM ejector tool I keep in there, and then the adapter for the micros. Then here's the other SD card reader that I was just like the black one. Same thing, Transcend 3.0. The larger, bag, uh, larger part of the bag I have, this is a shock mount, the rubber vibration, and then the NTG2 shotgun mic, and then obviously the carrying case that came with it. Then these are the headphones that I'll usually be using for editing, and that's the Bose, I don't know what they actually are, but they're wireless, they're Bluetooth, so wireless. I use those on a plane also. And then I also have the Zoom H5 with the XY mic on the top. Uh, I also have uh, the shotgun attachment and the side mic attachment, but those won't be making it to the floor. I bought them just in case. And then this is just a bunch of cables and chargers and wall chargers, um, a small SSD. And then this is actually the attachment for the XLR for the Sennheiser set. So that, just in case. Butt wipes to keep you fresh. These are a must. These are in every one of my bags, no matter where I'm going. And last but not least, well, not last because I got some stuff on the back. My Mac, my Mac Air, MacBook Air 2010, I believe, 128 gig. I can do all the editing I need on this. Uh, I'll be shooting in 1080 at 60 frames and this will get me through. It'll actually edit 4K pretty good also, um, but I don't think I'm gonna go 4K while we're here just so I don't have any issues just in case. Then on the back, again, Omar for the heads up, uh, Purell sanitizer, and for vlogging purposes, uh, the HTC Re that I'm using, and then a clip for uh, clipping it on my shirt or the backpack, but it doesn't really fit on the backpack too well, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that yet. It may just end up on my shirt if I'd use it at all. And that's about it. My bag is a Ogio, Ogio uh, bag. I don't know the model number. I'll leave, oh, here we go, the Renegade RSS 17, and I believe this is the charcoal version, not the black. I think Mike has the black. So I'll leave links for as much as I can fit down below for you guys to check out if you want to. They'll be all Amazon links, affiliate links. And uh, that's gonna be about it. We're at CES, we're doing a lot of content, a lot of quality content. So you'll see stuff from myself, Mike, who's doing this camera here, Tomas that is doing my handheld work over here. So um, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, it's down below. Like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's something that you guys have heard about at CES that you'd like to see, either on Twitter, Instagram. I mean, hit me up anywhere, uh, or just leave it in the comments down below. I check all the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. So what's up, everybody? It's Larry back with you, and I'm today doing uh, what's inside my bag, or as we say in the war room here, what is in my sack. <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 oh,